All right, so today I wanted to talk about the topic of is the 6.5 Creedmoor the best uh, long range target shooting bullets or caliber, cartridge, whatever you want to call it these days. And to make a long story short, I think yes. Now I'll explain my reasoning. Uh, now there's a lot of people that are going to disagree, right? There's going to be people that are going to disagree for multiple reasons. But the main reason someone would disagree probably would be there's calibers that are better ballistically. Now, just because, in my opinion, just because a caliber is better ballistically doesn't make it better because, number one, if you're going to pay, let's say you're going to have to pay five bucks. Like if you look at like a, what are some calibers that are better ballistically? We have the 300 PRC, we have um, 6.5 PRC, we have 300 Norma, we have, I mean, like 338 Lapu, I think would be a little bit better. 50 BMG, some of those would be a little bit better. Like, um, technically, there is some bullets in the seven millimeters that are better. Uh, 300 Win Mag, there would be some that would be better. But what is the commonality behind all of those calibers? Well, all of them are, are, are more expensive and harder to find than the 6.5 Creedmoor. The problem, and not only that, a lot of them are a lot harder to find as well, right? Now, typically, it's, it's fairly easy to find hunting ammo for, you know, a 300 Win Mag or something like that. But finding match ammo is a lot harder, right? It's a lot more expensive. So um, in my opinion, the best long range caliber is something that, that combines good ballistics with affordability and availability, right? Not to mention like guns, right? Because some of these, like if you look at like 300 PRC and 300 Norma and some of these more exotic calibers, a lot of the time you basically have to have a custom rifle just to, to get that stuff, right? Because in Canada, like it, it can, I mean, the States would be definitely better, but in, in Canada, even the States would be a bit of an issue as well. Like there's basically none of, no guns chambered in these calibers short of custom made rifles. So you're looking at probably like five grand just to get started in a lot of these calibers, right? Six, five Creedmoor, you can spend a thousand dollars on a, you know, a Savage 110 Tactical or something along, like a, there's there's Remington 700s in that range. There's some of the Tikas are a little bit more expensive, the Bergaras. There's an endless list of guns in that one to $2,000 range, you know, stock rifles in 6.5 Creedmoor. There's, there's next to none in basically any of those other calibers. You're looking at least double, triple, quadruple when it comes to price. Uh, and the selection is nowhere near as good, right? So the reason why I think it's the best is that it's very affordable and it, but it still has very good ballistics, right? So again, like I say, the most common argument against it would be that there's ones that are better, but you, it's, a lot of times you're splitting hairs too. Like there's not that much of a difference. And here's the other important thing too. There's calibers that are better, but a lot of the times at the end of the day, it comes down to which bullet you're using. And this is another thing that a lot of guys don't understand. They don't really talk about. I don't, I don't know why. Is that if you take like a random hunting bullet in a 300 Win Mag or a 3... I mean, 338 Lapua doesn't really have hunting bullets. But I'm saying, just trying to make a point. The ballistics aren't going to be as good as a 6.5 match bullet, especially the heavier ones. So this is another thing people don't understand is that um, just because the bullet is the, the caliber is a capability of being better doesn't mean it's always better. Right? Like to get to get a 300 PRC or a 6.5 PRC um, bullet that is better than a 6.5, like like the 140 grain matches, the 147 grain matches, the 143 ELDXs, for example. There's only a hand, like very very small selection of 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 calibers that are, or sorry, of, of, of calibers that are better than. Not only that, there's a limited range of bullets, right? So this is the other problem that um, you have to be very picky with the bullets that are better because if you look at a 6.5, you can get bullets that are in the, in the 600s when it comes to ballistic coefficients. There's a very short list of bullets even in the heavier 30 cals or the 7, 7 millimeters or even the 300, 338, sorry, that are that are that are higher than the 700s and again if you're looking at at, at uh, factory ammo that makes it even more limited now i think if you reload it's a different story because if you reload 
you know, it, it's a different, like, if you reload, I would get a 6.5 PRC over a 6.5 Creed more because you, you, get you, you, the bullets are going to cost you the same. The powder is going to be, um, you're going to have to spend slightly more. The primers are the same, I believe. The cases are going to be more, but once you have a good collection, then you're, you're pretty good there. So, you know, whether you reload or not, I think is a different story as well. But if you reload, you're going to be able to get better ballistics out of your 6.5 as well most likely right so that's that's a different story in and of itself but it's, if you're looking for a factory target gun in my mind a 6.5 is the best now the other argument now that i think of it is going to be people say oh well, 6.5 is limited on power you know the 300s are more powerful the 338s are more powerful and that's true but most of us are just shooting steel or shooting targets like the steel or the targets don't care if you're hitting it with a thousand foot pounds of energy or two thousand, right? It does. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing, right? Um, now again, if you're using it for hunting, if you're in the military, yeah, that's a different story. But um, if you're just shooting targets, it doesn't matter, right? So my argument at the end of the day comes down entirely due to the fact that the six five is the most popular one out there, and. Given how popular it is becoming, I don't think it's going away. Now, I think 10 years down the road, there'll probably be something that's better. Just like, this, you know, the th 10 years ago, the 308 was by far and away the most common caliber, right? Even though it wasn't the best. Um, now it's the 6.5, right? 10 years from now, there's probably going to be a new one, right? That, that's better, right? Now, the other thing, too, is that, you know, the 6.5 is very easy to shoot, right? Especially if you have a muzzle brake or a suppressor, like the recoil is very light, um if you look at the, if you look at some of the more the 300s and the 338s of the world even if you have a muzzle brake you're st still pretty good amount of recoil right so if you're a new shooter and this is another debate another thing that i think is important as well is if you're, if you're a very experienced shooter then i think i think you're get whatever the hell you want but i'm talking more about newer to you know new or even you know uh, uh like intermediate shooters right that to me it makes no sense to get something that's only marginally better if you're going to have to spend double, triple as much, right? It just doesn't make sense in my mind, right? And, and yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that would be what I would say is that I think it is, right? I think it is. And I, to me, it just doesn't make sense to spend way more money on a 300 PRC, for example, or a 300 Norma or even 300 Win Mag, 300 Ultra Mag, um 338 lapua like it, it does just doesn't make sense to spend that much more when you're really splitting hairs like you're spending double maybe even triple as much on ammo and you're getting maybe 10 percent better ballistics if that right and not to mention too like a 6.5 still like with good quality match ammo it is very flat shooting right like like if you took like if you went into a, a Cabela's or a Bass Pro and you took a high like a one the 140 grain ELD matches or the 147 grain ELD matches those are going to be flatter shooting than probably 95 or even upwards of 99 percent of the, the the boxes of ammo in there like there's a very limited amount of ammo that's better so you are really splitting hairs at the end of the day. Now, again, if you're willing to spend that much more money and you, you, you know, splitting hairs is important to you, by all means. But for most people, I don't think that that's the case, right? Not to mention, too, most people aren't trying to grind that much of a difference. Like if you're a, a professional shooter, yeah, maybe I would understand that. But if you're just doing it for fun, like I say, to me, it makes no sense. And again, most people fall into that category. So at the end of the day, like I said off the start, I do think the 6.5 is the best caliber, and I do think it will be that way for a good amount of time, considering now there's so many hunting rifles that are cap that are chambered in, in 6.5. I mean, to be quite honest, it may even be one of the most common hunting calibers now, too. The, and based off that, it, it's not going to go away, and it's going to continue to stay very, very popular for quite a while, I think, right? Um, so anyway, that's what I wanted to bring up today. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out those links below. Uh, or sorry, just, just give me a follow and uh, stay tuned for more.